I need to not have coffee before I do videos. Well, this video is probably the worst <laughs> ever. Are we going to keep going? Or no, we're done. No. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to have just a good week. <laughs> There's going to be stuff growing back there. It's not going to be next week either. <laughs> This weather's crazy. So we're prepped. We got all of our tomato trellising ready to put in, mm -hmm. do video on it, and it's just slop out there. Um, yep, we were gonna have all kinds of content and then it just rained for three days. So now we have zero. But we made a few test batches of soap and it turned out fantastic. So today, yeah, since the really weather's good. awful, um, we're gonna make a big batch, 15 pound batch of soap. Um, and we'll probably film some of that. Oh, okay. soap, not me. Hey, Cranky. Come on now. So, we just poured the lye in. We it's the biggest pot we could get. $50 pot. <laughs> we bought $50 worth of pot. Because this is the only one they had that was big enough for a, a full batch of what we wanted to do. So, from the, the fast video, they've seen us measure the oil, measure the water, measure the lye, measure the everything. And put it all together. What kind of soap? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you We're so rehearsed. You're like, I don't know. So it's what's the name of it? Soap. White tea and ginger cold process soap. Okay. Come take the spoon. So I can start it. It's gonna be loud for a second. Can I put this in the sink? Put it on the red thing. Put it on the red. That's why we bought that. About to get loud, y'all. Okay, so let's let's explain, explain the process. That. Yeah, explain that to them. Why that red stick blender is such a so. Cold. If you make cold process soap, you mix lye and oil, and the the chemical reaction creates soap. It's called saponification. <laughs> you can stir it for ten hours, or it's not really ten hours, but it's like an hour worth of solid stirring. It's a lot. Or you can get a stick blender. And let it do it for you. This is not that loud because it's, it's so deep. So the process of saponification You'll is a chemical it reaction. It'll start to go to trace. It'll get a little bit thicker. Um, and then when Bring you put in your fragrance oils, that'll they cause can see trace. It cloudy. That's the reaction happening. So once we get started, we got to move kind of fast because the fragrance can speed it up. The temperature can speed it up. Um, and basically it starts getting so thick so fast that you can't pour it very well and it makes kind of a turns ugly, into pudding basically and you bar. can't control it yeah so i'm gonna go put this back in the tripod we're gonna add scent and we're gonna add color I mean, nothing big, really. I took all the the cubes. What do they call it? What do they call it? Soil cubes. What? I guess that's <laughs> what they're called. Anyway, of our tomatoes that were all in cubes, and they're like this tall. Our plants are, so they're running out of room for their roots to grow. So you we mean soil blocks. So blocks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they needed more room, so I put them all in individual containers, except for the ones I'm going to plant out in the garden. So yeah, we're selling. <clears throat> we're selling our our seedlings, yeah. And we were so we're selling for two dollars each, and we were. Or ten for six. Notified that we're not going to sell any because Walmart has them three for six. Three, three for or six three. packs for six $2 packs for three dollars. Yeah, fifty cents each basically. So we have solo cups, and they're I don't know they're pretty big. They're twelve to eighteen inches. 
they're, they're big huge. Some plants, of them, so. it depends on where they were in the soil cube or soil block tray. Some of them are over a foot long. So comparatively, Some Tractor are, Supply know. has them for I think three something, three sixty five for a, a lit like a this piece. big, and ours are yeah. Yeah. So, so I think we're at the right price. We're at the right price for <clears throat> for what we're doing. If, you if want. we can't sell them for two, then we, we just won't sell we'll them. just keep them and sell the fruit <laughs> and make <clears throat> way more than two. We've been hitting the freeze dryer hard. We have lots of Skittles and lots of taffy. Lots of that taffy. Oh, God, it's good. That is some work, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I was going to be sweet. Jason, you know, works all day. And I do too, but I have more flexibility being at home. So I was going to be like, I'm going to surprise him when he gets home. I'm going to have this taffy ready to go. Or maybe even in the freeze dryer. And I was like... I got to make sure I'm doing it the right way, though. So she I texted him. <laughs> <laughs> I had it all out on trays, every little piece. And he's like, oh, yeah, space them a half inch apart, but they you got to cut them in quarters. I was like, quarters? What do you mean cut them in quarters? <laughs> and so we spent at least an hour or more sitting there cutting these taffy pieces in quarters. They turned out fantastic. Though. I'm not sure if it's worth it to me. Uh, we'll see. To me I didn't have to do it. And then my mom got a hold of it and it was like, oh, this could be great. We make them even smaller and then we fill up the little bag with little tiny balls. My mom's eager. Hi, Chewy. Hi, Chewy. We had a pretty boring week. Anyway, you did. Yeah, I had a, a lot of I worked every day work almost week. on something. Come here, baby. Come here, Chewy. Come here. Come here, Mama. Come here, my Chewy. Or just stand there, whatever. Oh, there's a baby. Yeah. This is our deaf blind dog. All right, I don't want your breath. She just wants some nubbins. Then she'll get down. No, oh, she no, she's not. She goes stay. She goes, no, turn around. <laughs> you can sit here, but be still. She, she can't do that. She's got candy on her face. Have you been eating Skittles? <laughs> okay, anyway. So yeah, as soon as thing. Oh, and there's now a, a frost warning creeping up on oh, us. <laughs> Everybody in Oklahoma is like, oh my god. Our last frost date was a week ago. Yeah. It's supposed to be. Well. And the next two weeks. Surprise. And the, the temperatures dipping. So it's supposed we'll to get to 32, but it started out warmer and it's gotten colder as the predictions have gone. So we're just gonna wait and see. We're about to be. Anyway, I'm really excited about the trellis though for the tomatoes. We should have had this in place before we put them outside, but we just, we didn't. So that was mistake number one. But So we robbed Josh Statton's idea. Of, yeah. If you, if you want to look it up, it's a trellis to make you jealous on YouTube. We knew exactly what he did, but we took the premise. It's a really, it's a really good though. idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, so... It's basically T posts and well anyway. We'll show T -posts you T posts and condo. We'll, we'll we'll do a whole section on it when we are video on it when we yeah when we don't have to wait in mud to to put them in. Right now, if we tried to step out there, it would you'd literally sink into it and you probably couldn't get your foot out the mud. It would take us a long time to do what it won't take us. Very <laughs> it would long take to us two thirds of the time just walking. <laughs> We We're got our falling. canopy and we oh, yeah. started staging our uh, market, farmer's market booth. That's exciting. Um, the canopy kind of makes it more real. I don't know. Mother-in-law's going to paint us some stuff for directions. And... Yeah, mom's going to help us a lot because it's on a Friday. And I have two Fridays that the farmer's market and school overlap. But it's flexible. Like, I'll be able to do it. And Mom's going to help me during the summer when he can't go, too. So. Oh, basically, I can never go. Yeah. <laughs> I have to take how far it to go. He would have to take PTO. But, um, yeah, it's exciting. We got big ice chests to take stuff when it actually does grow. I didn't realize how big those ice chests were. We got big igloo ones from Sam. I think they're like. They're 64. 10,000 barrels. Port. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're about this long. They're pretty. It's going to take two people once we put veggies and stuff in there. Or, I'm sorry, fruits. There's no such thing as veggies. Look it up. That's just according to botany. Not According to botany. But botany's, botanists 
own plants. They own them. They do. They own all the knowledge of plants. Okay. Wouldn't you listen to them? There's vegetables. No, the vegetables are the leaves. Leaves are vegetable. It's vegetation. The product is the fruit. God, we're boring this I week. had some coffee today. Our chicks are getting pen feathers. Um, I just got to get my brother and my friend over to come pick their chickens take up. Take their chickens because we don't need We're about anymore. to put them out. Um, <laughs> everything's soggy and wet. It's, it's growing well. The wind beat us up and we have some... I replanted after the wind and some of them, <laughs> some of them broke, but most of them are just leaning violently We're going to look to back the on south. This, this season and last. We are. It's last year was really weird too. It was terrible for bees in the she early was out. of the season. She was, I'll have to go get her. The we'll gate's open. I saw she won't go she far. She just got in her lap. What do you mean she's, <laughs> she's out? out. <laughs> anyway. All right, I think that's all for now. Thank you, guys. I need to not have coffee before I do videos. Well, this video is probably the worst <laughs> ever. Are we going to keep going? Or no, we're done. All right, bye. bye. I saw that. <laughs>